Be there, your champion sports. Well, it's been a brutal week after the Dallas loss, but I want to come on here and talk about a possibly a bright spot for the future, and that was Matt Parrott starting at right tackle. And, you know, he's taken a lot of uh, flack from a lot of people. A lot of people say he's no good, he's a bust, but I've always said that he'll be fine. You know, he graded out, I think, higher than anybody else on this offensive line last year. Obviously, He's a very raw player, just high-end athleticism and length he has. But when Matt Parrott came in and played the Cowboys game, he was what I thought he was. So I feel like maybe I'll have one opinion this year that might come true. <laughs> every every other kind of guess has been horribly wrong, especially you know pertaining to the defense. And listen, I respect Nate Soldier. He come in, he could have really put this franchise on a bind with his contract, which was huge, and they would have been suffering for a couple of years to come if he was forced to release but he we worked his contract he come in here and you know it's just he's he just is not the player he was before physically um obviously the mind is there it's just the body is not and this year he, he has just put some very embarrassing plays on tape his pff rating is around a 46.2 if you don't know much around uh much about pff that's about a d so you know he's allowed two sacks he could have allowed a you know if daniel jones if it was his rookie year and he didn't have as good a pocket presence you know we, he could be looking at a six seven sack uh season already but listen matt parrot came in and kind of gave me a little bit of hope for the future because you know a lot of people were talking about, oh one of these first round picks next year we're gonna have to use on a tackle you know i've been holding out hope for pair but he came in 87 snaps only allowed one pressure the pff grade of 69.27 so if you're not familiar with pff that's probably around a b <laughs> b minus so that's good that is good anytime you're in a green color scheme like area you're good to go so my what my thoughts are at the moment is get matt pair in now and here's the biggest thing and here's the biggest reason why we need to know if we <laughs> we need to know if we're going to draft a tackle next year to draft or not because there is, as we're seeing this year, there are so many possible areas where this team needs help. It's looking like we need another corner now. You know, I I think Tate Crowder is a great depth piece. I'm not sure if he's starting material. We need linebackers. It's looking like maybe Dexter Lawrence is going to have to kick inside. He ain't the player I thought he would. Maybe we're going to have to <laughs> draft another inside defensive tackle. So there's so many holes on this team. Uh, and, you know, if we could just scratch tackle off, tackle off the off the list completely, that is huge. And listen, this ain't gonna be a long video because here's my here's my thinking. Obviously, Dave Gettleman's gone, but maybe he can at least on his way out have fulfilled, you know, what he said about this offensive line. Pretty much the offensive line. Skur out looks like a good depth piece. Um, if Nick Gates can come back, Matt. Uh, Shane Lemieux was amazing, obviously short period, but he was amazing when he was in there. He was looking like a top, he was playing at a top tier, you know, guard level. Um, Will Hernandez, I'm out. I'm out. I, I'm, I'm out on Will Hernandez. So if everything's solidified and all we need to do is draft one guard, I mean, you ain't got to draft a guard in the first round. You can get a decent quality guard in the second, third, fourth. And look, even Matt, um, Shane Lemieux was fifth round guard. So... It would just be so nice if Matt Parrott is the guy. Let's get him in here and give him a shot. Give him a real, true chance. Because I know there's a lot of people that are out on him, and that's a narrative that's going around. But I think he can be a guy. I think he, honestly, I think he can be as good as Andrew Thomas. Like, they have pretty much the identical, you know, length, height, uh, I don't know, I, at the moment, I don't have what they put up bench reps, you know, in college. That'll probably give you an idea of the strength of us. I really think, like, their high end, upper end, where they can get to, I think they're right right about the same area. So, listen, I'm not saying that he's going to ever reach, reach his ceiling, but that's it for me. Anyways, I'm not going to sit in here and ramble. That's my plan. I just, I really want to come make this video, just see what you guys say. What do you think? Are you thinking along my lines? Do you just you think get Mayor Pantner? Maybe he turns out to be the guy. Uh, do you think let him sit, let him learn, and you know go that route? <laughs> um, or do you think possibly he's like he's just gonna be a swing tackle? Or that says that's what he'll be.
Uh, anyways, let me know in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and peace.